Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video for those of you on the April 2018 update. There's a new cumulative update that fixes some bugs apparently it for me bricked my PC. So the first thing I want to say I will not be doing a live show today I'm really sorry I know it's two weeks in a row but problem is my main PC doesn't work and I really have to you know get it back and working condition. So I'll take care of that this afternoon. I'll be, um, you know, taking it easy, just reinstalling Windows and the software that I need. We'll be back with the regular uh, stuff next week. Um, I'm really sorry to um, have to do this, but, you know, I could have done the show with uh, my phone or maybe my Linux machine. Problem is I, I want to take the time to, to really reinstall if I do the live shows. Uh, it's time that I can devote to actually starting my PC again. So, um, yeah, my PC bricked after 17.134.81. So hopefully it goes better, better for you or if you want to wait. But um, I don't know. I've been looking at uh, some, of the, uh, uh, some of the blog posts. I don't see problems right now with this uh, update, particularly for most, most people. Uh, you know, my PC was acting weird with April 2018. And maybe that's the thing. It needs to be, um, you know, it needs to be re reinstalled. I haven't reinstalled Windows in a while on this thing. And, you know, from time to time, it's not a bad idea. So, um, basically, it fixes issues in Internet Explorer that cause communications uh, between web workers to fail. It has um, time zone information updates. Addresses an issue where closed caption settings are preserved after upgrade. Um, addresses a reliability issue. That caused Microsoft Edge or other applications to stop responding when you create a new audio endpoint or with video or play or video playback, audio video playback is starting. So maybe that is one of the problems of Edge uh, kind of freezing for some of you, uh, possibly. Windows Hello enrollment uh, fail on certain hardware and um, so a few little things. Uh, address an issue where power regression on system with uh, NVMe devices, that's the solid state drives. If you have a, uh, a, a Toshiba or Intel solid state drive, um, April 2018 was actually crashing on you. They fixed that. So it should be okay. One word I got to say uh, is that if you have a Toshiba or Intel SSD, we're planning on the April 2018 uh, upgrade. Wait until tomorrow, Friday, May the 25th. Microsoft did say that the uh, update will be integrated in the package this Friday. So that means it'll be better. Because up to now, if you do so, you will have a crash of install. And on my side, well, I will uh, kind of, you know, use the media creation tool, create myself a bootable USB thumb drive with the April 2018 update, and start the long and sad process of reinstalling Windows 10 on my PC. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our video.